Welcome to Vocabulary TV. This is our 36th video lesson on roots, prefixes and suffixes in English vocabulary. In this episode, we are going to cover a medley of roots beginning with the letter M such as mel, medl and mol. Using these as a base, we will discuss several important words derived from these roots. You can see these words are hanging on the tree branches. All these words can be learnt easily using their root connection. So let's begin. The first root out of these is the Latin root medl and its variant mel. The roots mean to blend or mix. And the root itself can be learnt through the word medley, which means a varied mixture of people or things. For instance, on the table, you can see that an interesting medley of dishes has been laid out. Though more popularly, the word medley is used to refer to a collection of songs or other musical items performed as a continuous piece. Medleys are very common in musical performances where there is a DJ mixing up various songs and even in wedding ceremonies. So perhaps you can use this word in sentences like The marriage ceremony came alive with people dancing to the medley of latest blockbuster songs. In fact, there are quite a few common words that we can use to denote a mixture of incongruous elements and melange is one of them. This word derives from the same root and is inherited from French. Melange can be used in a phrase such as a melange of tender vegetables, meat and herbs. This mixture by the way can also be called an hodgepodge. As a word, hodgepodge also has this additional meaning of a confused mixture because when you mix up things, it may sometimes lead to confusion. For instance, if there are some actors who are preparing to stage a play and if they do not rehearse their script well, you can imagine the result would be a complete hodgepodge. Motley is another word which carries the same meaning as medley or melange. I often review school applications and one of the major reasons that students cite for studying abroad is that they would get to meet an interesting melange of students from different parts of the globe. A motley community who would each bring with them a different set of perspectives and experiences that would help one learn and grow as a person. This sounds impressive, isn't it? We have covered four important words in this word group and hope you have learned them well. Back to our root word medal, which means to mix. Medal is another important word derived from this root. To meddle is literally to mix oneself in others affairs or to interfere. According to the Oxford Dictionary, to meddle means to interfere in something that is not one's concern. You would have come across persons who give you advice on each and every aspect of your life. In such instances, you would probably want to say, please stop meddling in my affairs. I can manage them well without your advice. While meddle is a verb, meddlesome, which is a related word, is an adjective and refers to a person who meddles a lot in others' affairs. A person who mixes oneself up in others' affairs and is interfering or intrusive could be rightly called meddlesome. An example sentence is He felt that his married life was suffering because of his meddlesome mother-in-law. Malay is another common word derived from the root meddle. Consider this explanation as a mnemonic or memory aid. When things get mixed up, the resulting state is a lot of confusion where people get worked up and this results in noisy fights. Melee, according to dictionary, means a confused and noisy fight or scuffle where people end up fighting hand to hand. An example would be, 
A verbal disagreement between the kids over a small issue soon turned into an ugly melee and many of them were hurt. The word melee might also refer to a confused crowd of people who don't know what to do or what's happening. And the last word derived from medl is pelmel. The beauty of this word is that it may be used as an adverb, as an adjective or even as a noun. As we have already discussed for the previous word, when things get mixed up, it creates confusion and a disorderly state. That is essentially the meaning conveyed by this word pelmel. In India, if one spots a superstar at a public place, the whole crowd rushes towards him to get his signature or to get a selfie clicked with him. How would you describe it? It's a pell-mell. Similarly, there is this popular concept of Black Friday sale in the USA where things are hugely discounted. I managed to get a picture of it on the internet. Look at it. Look at the excited customers rushing pell-mell into the malls and the supermarkets. I bet you can't suppress a smile. Okay, so now we move on to our second root mellow, which means song. Recall the common word melody, which means sweet music or tunefulness. In this picture, you can see a girl playing a beautiful melody on her flute. While melody is a noun, melodious is a related word, which is an adjective. The word melodious describes something that is pleasant sounding. For instance, he was totally in a trance when he first heard her melodious voice in a solo performance. And since mellow means song, our next word melodrama can be memorized as any performance which is a mix of song and drama. And look at how meanings change over time. When you hear song plus drama, what comes to your mind is the theatrical performances with larger than life actors caught up in exciting events and displaying exaggerated emotions. So a related word, melodramatic, takes on this additional connotation of exaggerated emotions as you can observe in the following example. She reacted in a melodramatic way which took me by surprise, almost amused me. Sometimes, roots can be deceptive. Mellow means song, but mel means honey. Maybe they were related, maybe not. The important thing is, because mellifluous is a very common and regular word in most exams, it would be better for you to memorize it as such. Mel means honey and fluer means to flow. So mellifluous describes something that flows smoothly like honey. The word mellifluous is used almost exclusively to describe voices, music or sounds etc. that flow sweetly like honey. For instance, a rich mellifluous voice helped her establish herself as a playback singer in the film industry. A related word is mellifluent which is again an adjective and is in fact another term for mellifluous. Next word root is mol, which gives rise to at least three important words in English. You can memorize this easily because there is a large group of animals by the name mollusks, which includes snails, clams and octopuses. These animals have a soft body without a backbone, that is no spine, and they usually live in a shell. As you would have guessed, they get their name mollusks because of their soft bodies. Next word is emollient. The prefix e means out and mollus means soft. So emollient literally describes something that softens out. An emollient cream or an emollient lotion, for example, makes your skin soft and supple or soothes your skin. An example sentence is, her hand had got burnt, 
So she applied an emollient or you can say an emollient lotion to the inflamed area. In an extension of its meaning, emollient can also describe something that attempts to soothe someone or calm someone down. A conciliatory approach where one attempts to avoid confrontation or anger can be described as emollient. For example, the CEO's emollient approach towards the workers, including agreeing to flexible working hours, has worked wonders for their productivity. The second meaning of emollient is quite similar to that of the word mollify. Made up of the roots mollis meaning soft and ficare meaning to make. The word mollify literally means to make someone soft or to soothe someone. You attempt to mollify someone with the objective that he or she would soften in tempo. According to Oxford Dictionary, to mollify is to appease the anger or anxiety of someone. An example sentence for mollify is, The babysitter was unable to mollify the cranky child, so she gave him some sedative and put him to sleep in his bed. And the last word is ameliorate. Again, this word regularly features in exams. It is better to memorize this word as a one-off word in the vocabulary list. Made up of prefix ad, meaning to or towards, the French root melior, meaning better, and the suffix ate, which means to make something have a particular quality. Ameliorate, in short, is to make it better. According to Oxford Dictionary, to ameliorate is to make something bad or unsatisfactory better. One point to note here, when something good becomes better, you would say it improves or betters. Only when something bad becomes better, you would use the word ameliorate. Look at the facial expressions of this lady. Bad to better. It has ameliorated. I could say, the promise of a diamond ring and a new necklace from her husband considerably ameliorated her mood. Now test your understanding of the words learnt in this lesson by filling in the blanks below. It is recommended that you pause the video when the timer starts. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.